guys, this is Bad Gamer Cat. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. We are here once again in the Oculus Meta Quest 2 in the new game Other Sight. And this is a really beautiful game with amazing graphics. Um, we already checked out the museum one, and we are going to be jumping into the next one on the list, which I can't remember what it is. It is an alley. So we're going to just jump in. I think I have to download it first. So I'll do that, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys. So I play sitting, so I had to adjust the height. So now we're taller. We're the right height now. And I had to go into the settings and turn off the music before we could start this. Because um, the last time I posted this, someone dinged me for the music. So the music isn't that great anyway. So I just shut it off, and we can still hear the ambient effects, and we can hear the voices. And it's telling us to come near this this cone and pick it up. Okay, now it wants us to do something with this one. These are among the most ubiquitous objects in Tokyo. They are everywhere, just doing their job. If you see them, don't ask questions. Japanese people always respect signs. Simple and effective. Westerners might think they're for roadworks, but here, it could be for anything. Really? And look at the nice uh, artwork and graffiti. Well, not really graffiti. It's nice artwork. Posters. We can't go the... Can we go this way? No. So, I can't get over how beautiful this is. Hi. Hi. Where'd you go? Hi, we are in the Sangen Yaya Triangle, as locals affectionately call it. Sangen Yaya is a 3,000 year old pilgrimage intersection. Three famous tea houses were in the area for these tired pilgrims, and business began to grow. The modern-day Sangen Yaya Triangle is the result of the neighborhood being assimilated by expansion of the city. A lot of people use these narrow streets as shortcuts, and for others like me, it is just a relaxing place to go after the working day, where you can soak up the atmosphere of vintage bars and step back into the past. Cool. Now, will this tell me the same thing all over again? Ooh, this looks like a fun place. Stage PF. Hello, can I come in? Closed. Look at the nice guitar sign here. These kinds of places can be seen as glimpses into the past, where narrow alleys immerse you in a completely different environment, remembering bygone years when Japan was rapidly growing. There is a real joy in discovering places that have survived urban redevelopment. Visiting these alleys provide a window into Tokyo's urban transformation and how these houses and buildings survive the construction boom. So yeah, I can see what she's talking about. We're in an old-fashioned alley and we're surrounded. Look at that giant building behind us. This is nice and clean and I, this is the cleanest alley I've ever seen. And look at how nice the glass even looks on the windows. Everything looks so good. This, these graphics are blowing me away how good they are. Oh God, I really want to go see that outfit, but there's something to listen to here. I think I have to shoot it. They are all over the facades. Air coolers are an iconic image of Tokyo. They create a postmodern suburban vibe that contrasts with the traditional architecture. Okay, I want to go back over this way. This is just so cool. I love that you could play with the fabric and look at the graphics on this. 
This is just incredibly beautiful. Look at that. That is amazing. You guys, this is just blowing my mind. I like exploring new places and it's something I haven't been able to do because of the pandemic other than in virtual reality. I don't think I can lean that far because I'm leaving my, uh, my area. That's pretty. Can I put it on top? Can you imagine if Wander was like this? Like I, keep, I know I keep going back to Wander. I love Wander, I do. This is better, like way better than Wander. And can you imagine if they would team up with Wander and you know, you can go into cathedrals and different places or whatever. And this is so cool. Like look at how good the glass looks. The only thing is when you touch it, your hand goes through. If they could make it so when you touch things, your hands don't go through, that'd be pretty cool. I like this a lot better than the first one that we saw, the art gallery. Oh, oh, I keep stepping my toe. Look at the pretty plants. I wish I could keep these. It's very nice artwork. I feel like I should be able to go through you because they let me move the sign. But we can't. We can peek around the corner though. Oh, maybe we can't because the sign fell. What if I take the sign and put it over here? Can we go now? No. This is the end of it. But we can peek around the corner again. So cool. Like I'm sitting in my room and I'm in such a small place that when I turn around on my chair, my office chair, I'm actually... I'm like... Stubbing my toe in things. There are hundreds of stickers on all kinds of surfaces. It's a means of urban communication that deploys icons all over the architecture, adding to an area's personality. It is very cool. A vast majority of these businesses open late in the afternoon and welcome workers from offices and local businesses. They are a great place for cheap yet good quality food and drink, and there is a wide variety of colors and atmospheres. This area is a maze of shops, bars, and alleyways populated with mostly narrow, two-story buildings whose adverts, posters, and lights combined to make a truly unique environment. She looks three-dimensional from the front and totally flat from the side. Thank God women can actually get that thinner. That's what everybody would want. There was a sign above these bottles. Bottles are sometimes stored outside for the local logistics. They are charismatic, local drinks from an intriguing a variety of brands. Can I throw them? <laughs> this is so cool. DG. Like, I can't, I can't get over it. Like, I feel like I should be able to feel the stucco. This is so... 
very realistic. It's crazy. But I can't reach this because I've got a wall in front of me. That's very pretty. Ah, couple playing with their baby. Beautiful colors too. Okay, I feel like I should have turned before when I didn't turn. It's nice that they have the pictures on both sides. I can't bend that far. <laughs> no, I can't because I'm playing seated and I raised my view. I can't reach that far. Okay, let me come to the top of the stairs, but no further. That's so cool. And here's another photo. That's pretty. Oops. 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 Let's put it on the bench. DG Annex. Look how narrow these streets are. Okay, the arrow's pointing this way, so I'm going to go back to where I didn't turn and turn there. Was it here? No. It's over this way. It was this turn right here. Yeah. No, but the arrows are all turning the other way. It's not triggering. Let's look at more artwork. I feel like it's supposed to be triggering something that it's not. Okay. Different kinds of materials for different decades. Their shapes reflect traditional construction styles and materials used in the 50s and 60s. Rust, cracks, and imperfections are the wrinkles of time on this urban face. Looks like corrugated iron. I think I just didn't stand here enough. Yeah. The small neighborhoods grew, smoothly fusing into the larger urban system in their own way, as can be appreciated in the variety of building shapes here. This is a little forest of residential houses sitting above shops, small restaurants, and other businesses on the ground floors. Tokyo has far more local businesses than most Western European and Northern American cities. Hmm. I'm spinning in a circle, you guys. I'm trying to take a drink of my water and I can't find it. Okay, here it is. I'm very thirsty. So, I don't think we can go much further this way. I don't think we need to move that, right? Yeah, no, I think those are just telling us we can't go. There's no need to pick them all up. you will see a lot of tags and graffiti on the walls. A street art scene in the hidden urban alleyways. Look at the eyes are moving, that's so cute. 
and that's nice up here. I don't mind the street art when they draw something. I don't like the tagging when they just write their name. I mean, if they take the chance to do something artistic with their name, like this guy, fine. But just writing it in black? No, I don't like that. Like, unless they're signing their artwork. Like, I mean, if someone drew this and then signed it, fine. I don't know. It's probably just me. Oh, wow, look at that. What happened over here? Are they building a new, uh, a new uh, high rise? It's so cool. Look up at the sky. Can you see it? Yeah. The carrot tower, so called because of its color, is a symbolic building that shows how modern times evolve in tandem with the past, in a close knit, continuous connection. You get a curious feeling walking through these alleyways, like diving among great whales and tiny fish. I like this little... What is this called? An alcove? Pretty. This looks like a barbershop sign. These are so cool, you guys. This is really nice. The museum was nice, but this is a lot better. Can you hear all the uh, air? Look at all of these, like air conditioners, fans. I'm gonna put it over here. It doesn't belong in a garbage. Like a chalkboard door? That's what people should do. Just chalkboard everything. Chalkboard paint. Give everyone chalk. Let them draw to their heart's content. Here's some more things we can grab. If I can't reach. Oh, no, I'm climbing on them. But I would like to see the photos. Oh, that's pretty. Old fashioned. Looks like an old fashioned photo. There are hundreds of stickers on all kinds of surfaces. It's a means of urban communication that deploys icons yeah, we heard all that over one the architecture, already. adding to an area's personality. Okay, we've been here already. We've been here already. We listened to that. We have to go this way now, and I think we're almost done this one. What's this? What is this? Like a Game Boy or something? Other site. So cool. I, I have no idea what this is. Nero. Between the late 1950s and the early 1970s, Japan built more than 11 million new housing units, wow. increasing by an astonishing 65%. These back alleys are like a film set. You can imagine action flowing in with different stories in a range of contexts. There's just so much going on in such a small place. I'm blown away by all of these air conditioning units. Wonder what's happening here. Look at all the bicycles. This is definitely 
Well, to me, it looks like an old-fashioned picture, but maybe it's just because of where it's taken. That's pretty. Can we go up? Oh my god, we can go up. You guys, we can go up, but we, I think this is the end of it. Okay, hey guys, this is incredible. This is just incredible. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Thank you for spending time with me. Let me know what you think. Again, this is Other Sight VR, and it is, like, out of sight. It's amazing. Thanks for joining me. Let me know what you think, and stay safe, guys. Bye for now.